what's good everyone welcome to the video welcome to the channel we have a modern warfare 2 title video today and we will go over a few ways to speed up your current camo grind if you are finding things taking a little bit of time i've been grinding camos on and off but i am currently working on getting platinum for the assault rifle category and i will share with you guys what i noticed is helping me speed up the process a good bit before we get started do me a favor hit that subscribe button i upload two videos a week every tuesday and friday so subscribe for more call of duty content and overall gaming content i greatly appreciate it and it'll be dope to have you and if you are returning welcome back and go ahead and like the video on your way in as we go on let me know what you guys think about the camo system in modern warfare 2 before the game launched i was all for it it was something the community had never seen before and i thought it will make things a little bit easier now that we are in the thick of it almost three months after launch i'm kind of over it to be straightforward once again drop your thoughts down in the comments and let's talk about it also check out my guys over at waves customs use waves custom ineos for the gym playing and recording music, and of course, gaming. Get Waves custom ears fitted for your ears only just by scanning your ears with your iPhone. They offer a damn good product and a one of a kind experience. I will have a link down in the description. Now let's get to the video. So the first thing I wanna say is have multiple classes ready depending on the map. Certain maps will cater to certain weapon classes across Modern Warfare 2, while El Asilo and Tarak are easier for snipers and marksman rifles. This is not the case for other maps such as Mercado, Embassy, or Farm 18. Have multiple classes made for the weapons you are working on so that when the right map is coming up, you are ready. For example, if you are working on the Cast Off 762, have a class set up for larger maps, maybe with some sights on your gun, and tune your weapons toward accuracy. And if you are playing on a map like Shoe House or Farm 18, and make another Cast Off 762 class that will allow you to be a little bit more mobile, and maybe use weapon tuning to cater more toward ADS speed and movement. Next, Kill Confirmed will be your friend. Kill Confirmed is a classic game mode that will help you level up weapons, obviously. The goal of Kill Confirmed is to eliminate enemies and confirm that elimination by running over the enemy dog tags, which drop after you kill them. The Kill Confirmed game mode grants you experience for the kill and any dog tag that you recover. You also get points from denying an enemy tag from collecting your friend's dog tags. This is a great way to level up weapons if you prefer the classic team deathmatch feel. The games aren't as long as most such as Headquarters and Hardpoint, making this one of my favorite game modes to help rank up weapons and grind camos. For example, if you are trying to level up a knife, which is pretty difficult to do for the most part, you can get a kill with your primary weapon and switch over to your knife to run over and grab the tag. The XP will count toward the weapon you are currently holding in your hands. Keep in mind, this only works as far as leveling up the weapon, not toward actual challenges. You will absolutely have to use the weapon in its entirety after the weapon is max level. Next, while you are working on mounted kills, take advantage of side mounting. Instead of trying to mount directly on top of a surface, try mounting on walls that are vertical. Some of you may not know this, but these count as mounted kills as well. Objectively, you may even be a little harder to see and you will absolutely have a great deal of cover when taking advantage of the side mount. Mounting directly on top of surfaces where your head is exposed seems to get you picked off a little easier. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for sticking around and if this is your first time here and you are digging the content, go ahead and subscribe for more Call of Duty and overall gaming content. I upload videos two days a week, every Tuesday and Friday. Thanks again. Now let's get back to the video. Next, you're gonna wanna use decoy grenades as your tactical. Any XP that you earn while in the map also counts toward the XP on your weapon. That means assists earned by throwing your decoy grenades will help you earn more XP for weapons. This will help with harder guns or the guns that you find you are having a hard time ranking up, like launchers and riot shields. Remember to throw your decoy grenade toward hot spots on the map every single life to earn maximum XP over the course of the match. This next one is pretty obvious but take advantage of shoot house and shipment. Obviously, these two game modes allow you to get in the most engagements possible in the least amount of time. With shipment pretty much being an overall pedal to the metal nonstop action map, shoot house allows you to really play how you choose to play with the different sections of the map. I recommend shoot house over shipment for this reason. If you have the choice, often the developers swap out one game mode for another, but most definitely take advantage of these two game modes to get these camo challenges done faster. And lastly, crouch on high ground. When you are ready to start knocking out the crouch kills, try and find high ground and crouch. This will keep you from crouching around on the ground level, which seems to be a little bit of a pain in the ass. I noticed when playing shoot house, 
hanging out in the office or on top of cargo crates to be able to pull off these kills take advantage of being on high ground and i'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up there i hope you gain some value and or entertainment from this and if you know any tips and tricks to help speed up the camo grind that maybe i missed drop them down in the comments i would love to hear from you guys and until next time that is what we're gonna call it all y'all take care and i'm out